Today we learn from Jim Quick on how to learn faster, like a superhero, by unlocking the potential of your brain. Jim Quick is an expert in the field of learning and memory, and finding methods for effective and efficient learning. As a child Jim had to struggle and face challenges in the field he'd go on to become an expert in. At the age of 5, while at school, he fell off a chair onto his head. This accident had an effect on his brain, which led to developmental and learning difficulties that extended to struggling with difficulties with social skills and shyness. Through the years, Jim spent countless hours trying to keep up with the other kids in his class, as he found it took him longer to process and understand information than it did other kids. For example, he didn't learn to read until years after most others, despite spending time every night learning by reading his beloved comics when he was meant to be asleep. For this reason, he came to be known at school as the boy with the broken brain. As he grew older, in his teens he continued to study and worked himself to exhaustion, which led him to collapse, and wake up two days later in the hospital. It was at this time he finally came to realise that there had to be other ways in which he could overcome his circumstances. He became inspired after seeing a quote by Albert Einstein saying, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. It was at this moment Jim Quick started working on developing methodologies for learning and remembering in a more efficient way, influenced by the comics that he read as a child, notably the X-Men which has led him to building a hugely successful career where he has met hugely influential people such as Bill Gates and Bill Clinton. Now at this point, if you're enjoying this video, please let me know with a like, please subscribe with the bell to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads, and share this with others who may benefit from the techniques discussed. We aim to bring you the latest techniques and ideas to help you live life on your terms. So how did he learn fast? Well, that's precisely where we begin the word FAST, which is an acronym for Jim's four step process to learning faster. Number 1. F is to forget The first step to learning faster is to forget what you think you already know. This means to forget what you already know about the subject, as a lot of people learn slowly because they feel like they already know the information. Such behaviour is restrictive, as believing you already know the information when trying to learn leads you to have less of an open mind. As Jim says, your mind is like a parachute, it only works when it's open. Therefore, it's important to approach learning with a beginner's mindset, be a sponge to absorb information, ideas and new ways of thinking. Next you need to forget about anything that's not urgent and important. The key here is to focus, to have your mind on the task at hand and don't let yourself be distracted. By doing so, you don't try to multitask and don't have distractions to hamper your education. Finally, forget your beliefs and limitations. This might be to believe that your memory isn't good, or that you're a slow learner, or you don't have the right education to learn to begin with. We are what we believe we are. If you place limitations on yourself, then you will consciously or subconsciously hold yourself back when trying to learn. You are restricted to what you believe though, as anyone can learn information and skills if they choose to do so. Some might naturally be more talented in certain areas than others, but that's not the same as having the ability to learn. Think of it from an athletic viewpoint. There are people who are naturally more athletic and muscular than others, but everyone has the ability to exercise and grow their muscles if they wish to do so. The brain is like a muscle, if you push the brain and don't hold yourself back, you can and will grow as a result. Number 2. A is for active You will struggle to learn and memorise in a passive manner, as we're creatures of learning through experience and habit. This is because our brain naturally learns and processes information when it can relate information to experiences. It's how we've developed as a species, developing memory of the past experiences and learning from them to reach where we are today. In school, we are taught to learn by consuming information quietly, but you rarely, if ever, learn by being lectured to. You learn by creating information and being active in the process. Even if you learn by listening, it's likely you'll forget what you learned within around 48 hours if you don't actively put into practice what you learned. Jim says learning is not a spectator sport, and he couldn't be more correct. 
just like exercise, you have to take action and actually do the work to grow. So how can you be more active in your learning? There are multiple methods you can use. To name just a few, ask questions, take notes, try to do practical exercises to help relate theory to real world examples. The key is to actively take part in learning as by doing so, you'll be significantly more likely to retain information from experience than you would just by learning theory. 3. S is for state. Your state is a snapshot of your mood, the mood of your mind and your body. It's the emotional well-being that you feel in that exact moment. We often see Tony Robbins speaking about controlling your state to help you perform at your peak, and Jim says precisely the same. If you can associate information with emotional feeling, it will become a long-term memory. Think about your personal experiences and the lessons you learned. You'll often find that those which are most powerful are those which have vivid and powerful emotions attached. An obvious example here is in relationships where our experiences, positive and especially negative, lead us to behavioural changes in future relationships, as we learn from the experience and how we felt in that moment. Many of us don't remember what we learned in school because the umbrella emotion for most people in school was boredom. We weren't actively engaged in classes that were forced upon us, and most classes we would partake in weren't of personal interest to us either. Yet what if we could take control and put ourselves in a state where we are engaged and build positive associations to learning? Well, we can. You can do things to control your state. The key is understanding how to set yourself in a state that's positive and engaging. For example, change your posture, your body or breathing. Sit or stand the way you would if you were totally energised. Think about how you'll benefit from information, so to associate positive emotions with the process. For example, if you're learning about human biology, you can relate that back to how you can use what you learn to your benefit, such as how you might be able to achieve the body you wish for through exercise and diet, or what you can do for certain issues you might be dealing with, for example eczema. Through this, you become more engaged and learn to enjoy the process of learning. Number 4. T is for teach. Learn something with the intention of teaching it, to fully gain the benefits of learning and engaging in it. By placing this responsibility on yourself, you'll find that you are more engaged with the learning process and will actively get more involved in the learning. If you had to give a presentation on what you're learning today, you would learn it differently. You would pay closer attention and take more detailed notes. You would probably ask better questions too. Likewise, if you do go on to teaching others what you learn, you will equally memorise what you learn as you cover the material multiple times and are pushed into a situation of applying what you learn to help others. There's a negative saying that people often say that those who can't do teach. Jim sees this in a positive light as he reframes it as if he can't do something, he can teach it and then will be able to do it himself. Use this fast method to learn quickly but also effectively, just like Jim Quick, the man who went from the boy with a broken brain, to the man who learnt like a superhero. If you were to go in the future, one year, two years, five years, ten years ahead in the future, I believe you have wisdom inside of you, I believe you have greatness inside of you, and genius that you're not even, even tapped in those states. If you were to project ten years ahead of time and look back on this day right now, what does your current self need to hear from your future self? I have a quote that I get quoted on more than anything else. It talks about an egg and stress. That your egg is like your life. That if an egg is broken by an outside force, life ends. But if it's broken by an inside force, life begins. And all great things begin on the inside. Thank you very much. So what are you looking to learn in your life? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video please let me know with a like, please subscribe with the bell to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads and share this with others who may benefit from the techniques discussed. Thanks for watching.